Well, this is a big summer for one of country music's hottest duos. Brooks and Dunn are calling it quits, and that means Montgomery Gentry is now poised to become the genre's top two-man team. Better recently caught up with the guys on the road. Eddie Montgomery and Troy Gentry have been making music together for the better part of two decades. We've known each other actually longer than we've known our wives. So, yeah. <laughs> so, kind of sad. While you're still young. Eddie and Troy are both from Kentucky and first met on the local club circuit. A good man upstairs puts together. They've had five number one hits. That's something to be proud of. And been nominated for Best Duo 11 years in a row. You did it, man. They even beat perennial favorites Brooks and Dunn back in 2000. When I'm singing a song about nothing but right. It takes both of us, yin and yang, to. Uh, to get that Montgomery Gentry feel and sound. So, how well do the guys really know each other? We decided to put them to the test, something we call Do You Know for Duos featuring Montgomery and Gentry. Question number one Do you know where your duo partner took his last vacation? Family vacation was the Destin, last uh, adult vacation was to Hawaii. Montgomery's answer Destin, Florida. Gentry's answer? Where did you say it? I can't remember. Where was it? Disney? Disney, that's it. Yeah, because I, cause I said I'd never See, go back I there yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, nothing personal, Disney. <laughs> nothing personal, but it is crazy there. Of course, boots are a key part of the Montgomery Gentry look. So question number two is all about their cowboy kicks. Do you know your duo partner's boot size? 12B. Gentry's answer? 12B. I thought it was 11 and a half big. Oh. I wear 11 and a half big. I thought she was 12 big. Oh. Montgomery and Gentry are both into bikes and even hold an annual charity ride. Which brings us to question number three. Do you know if your duo partner had to pick between music or motorcycles, which would he choose? For music. Music. Can't make a living on a motorcycle. <laughs> Not unless you're evil can evil, and I don't want to get broken up that bad. <laughs> and finally, Montgomery Gentry's tour is sponsored by Jim Beam. That leads us to question number four. Do you know how many shots of Jim Beam it takes to get your duo partner drunk? Montgomery's answer. A bunch. <laughs> Gentry's answer. The whole bottle. <laughs> We're pretty good on that one. I'll tell you, we've been together quite some time. <laughs> this has been Do You Know for Duos featuring Montgomery and Gentry. Uh, I tell you, it's bad when we start like finishing each other. Somebody asks us questions, and we'll finish the questions. What do you think about that? Yeah, we've been known to finish each other's sentences. That's something to be proud of. That's something to be proud of. In the early years, I had a development deal on a record label that fell through for me. Don't give Eddie and I just kept in and ending up on the same stage. This is predestination. There's no way I could go out there and do it by myself. I'll be going like, oh God, dude, where am I at in a song? Or where is this? And I'm just used to having him there. Yeah, I mean, he could probably replace me with somebody no. that's a heck of a lot prettier. No, you are irreplaceable. <laughs> The whole bottle of Jim Beam, as you can see, the guys put on a great show. They're on the road right now, and they've got a new album due out by summer's end.